welcome back to Factorio World. Cractorio with me, JD. And we're still here with Cry and Shame, me and Peter. And, and... Yes, I'm still building a ridiculous belt. Shut up. It's got ammo on it. It'll stop biters. It's important. And what will say, kick team when I'll turn to limit a chest. Who, what, huh? <laughs> limit what? I'll put a limit on the chest and the auto save kicked in and cancelled me out my limit. Oh, <laughs> it's like, no. I hate that. <clears throat> no, no limitations for you. Oh, what's worse is when you think you clicked OK before auto save came up and then you go away <laughs> and you come back three hours later and find out, you know, you have like 350 <laughs> electric, uh, you know, wooden power poles. I could have a handful Wait, of extra. Uh, I have never automated wooden power poles. Mm. Ever. <laughs> I never have either, but I have automated like you know, uh, green wire and and red wire. Okay, yeah, that can, I can see that happening. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember the uh, Craig? Do you remember the steel chest full of steel chests? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, that wouldn't be so bad if you hadn't got to logi bots yet. If you had not at the point of logi bots, you will use them. Mm. If you're already at the point of logi bots and you've already got most of your base built, then yeah, you're screwed, boys. Oh, don't throw a grenade at feet. Um, yeah, that's probably a bad idea. I'm oh. pretty sure anyone who's ever learned how to use a grenade has. Yeah. <laughs> I think everyone's had a grenade in the game has actually hurt themselves with the grenade. They don't hurt that sure. much. I'm also pretty sure that anyone else who's who has not learned to not throw a grenade at their feet is no longer around to complain about it. They don't hurt that much, it's fine! <laughs> uh, not that long ago I watched a video of like people being trained to use grenades and some like really bad um, grenade tosses <laughs> where like the instructor had to like pull the person away and into a little ditch so they didn't die from the explosion. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, start with oh. a baseball. Can you throw a baseball or actually a cricket ball? Because that's got a bit more weight in it. <laughs> if you can survive throwing a cricket ball without dying, we'll give you the exploding cricket ball. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was, uh, that was a video I saw. I was just like, wow, okay. <laughs> so that... like, I knew there were some idiots around, but now it's confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> I know they existed. So, why aren't we doing, like, I don't know, proper setups instead of, like, this line of things? Well, the line of things I was just building out, and it was already there from Gepin's original build, so I just extended it. Okay. You mean a proper know. build stuff? Ah, oh, that seems ridiculous. I'm pretty sure the base needs, base needs to be building from scratch at some point anyway. I mean, that's the only thing done properly the base is the smelters and the science build. Yeah, that sounds Hang like on, hang on, hang on. So the only things done properly are the ones that I've played with, right? <laughs> Good, just put that on the record. I want that on the record. <laughs> <laughs> I refrain from answering that question for obvious reasons. <laughs> Doesn't matter, it's on the record now. I still and don't have bullets on the belt. Why? Have one of you two killed off my bullet production? You're welcome, by the way. Oh, thanks. Let me stand out here fighting biters with no bullets. Fighting for my I life mean, here. I mean, I can say you're welcome. Wow, that's a lot of ammo. I don't need that much ammo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you didn't put him that much. <laughs> well, uh, okay, so I I make... So rather than having one chest with everything in it, what I usually do is I put two chests, and they're both limited, so I can easily pull from either of them to supply me for what I need. But there's obviously more ammo, turrets, and whatever else. Because otherwise I end up pulling, you know, six stack of ammo, and it's like, that. I don't need that much ammo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fighting... I'm fighting off fighters. I'm not like destroying the world. <laughs> oh no! Destroy the world! Destroy the world! Destroy the world. <clears throat> Actually, something I want to do. Let's see, because we have a really good bottleneck in the south, and the uh, 
the west for that matter. Well, how far does that west go across before it's safe is the question. Let's have a nosy. It's a north east area that kind of looks really sucky. Yeah, I'm going to try heading to that northeast and see if that water um, pinches, but I have to go on the base, so... If I die, I die. I'm only carrying moderately expensive stuff on me. Well, that's alright. You can run back out there and pick up your body now. Dying doesn't really matter. Southeast? Well, if you die in the middle of the biter base. Yeah, if you die in the middle of the biter base. Oh, no, it just means you have <laughs> to clear that base. <laughs> you have to clear the base and not die again. Because if you die again, you lose your original body. Oh, uh -oh. really? Yeah, disappears. Oh. Oof. Oh, I didn't know that one. Yeah, I don't know ah. if that was intentional, you. but it's totally a thing. Okay. Let's have a look. Where is it? I can't see the base is a dump tool bar in the way. Yeah, there's two bases down there. Mm. Let's watch Peter, see how he dies. Good you. Good see where me. I am. <laughs> uh, I see you just fine. During near the stone patch that looks like a um I a... You're gonna take out that small base or really continue south. Eggplant. Right? I'm gonna go with an eggplant. An eggplant mm -hmm. emoji. I don't know, it kinda of looks like a pipe upside down. Okay. That's what I'm going with. Yeah, it looks like a, a pipe. Or a um a uh, a tire gauge. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure. Come on, Peter, <laughs> take it out. And bang he runs out of ammo. I've used One a down. quarter of the ammo I brought with me. I have 20 rounds. I, can't, I brought 200 clips with me, I'm at I, 160. I don't, I don't think you're going to make it, with because you're going to hold another base down there, unless you're going to just run past it. No, I don't need to go that far, I just need to go across to get the map to expand. I'm trying to see if, that is a, if it's a dead end or if it's a, uh, or a good point. Yeah, there's a whole other base right there. I mean, you can kind of fight off the lighters and stuff. Not yeah, but I need to kill this one building here so I can move across, get the map to expand out, and then I can run run away. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping there's that water is connected there. That's my hoping there. That's why I'm, that's actually the reason I'm here is just to see if that uh, bombs no! out. No, no, it's not. Ah, uh, there's a. I mean, it's easily blocked, but still. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's a pain. Go on, well, run through the base, now, kill so more. You annoyed me now. I want your water there, so now you'll die. Episode 3. Da, 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 Watching da, da, Peter. Da, 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 da. <gasps> just literally stood here, just going, I have a machine gun. You'd, if I wish I had grenades right now. <laughs> Episode 3. Big Brother. Bam. Done. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 da. So okay, you're down to 98 clips. Where's the humming? That's not humming. Well, humming, singing. Sing. No, nobody. Nobody, nobody sings in, this, in these two people who we were playing with. <laughs> um, is this red or green? This looks like red. Okay. And there we go. One remaining building and it's going to go down pretty quick. So, where's... Where are we making green sides? Or is it mixed in? Is it mixed in? <clears throat> it is mixed in. Okay, so we have green on one side, red on the other side. Okay. Ah. Okay, so we have a pretty decent bottleneck down here that can be easily wiped out. Yeah. That's a good bottleneck. The southern bottleneck is good. So the whole southern and southeast bottlenecks are really easy to work with. Yeah. Um, so north, my northern north little crappy east. wall is not such a bad idea. What? My northwest little, little, northeast, northeast little crappy wall is not such there a bad idea. There we go. No, actually, that's a nice little belt you got going on there. It's kind of cool. I don't know if it has enough ammo for that. Um, well, it doesn't, because somebody keeps stealing all the ammo, and those poor machines are not going fast enough. But nobody it, will, was it will be back up eventually. I will point out, nobody was stealing the ammo. Someone just cut the iron supply to the ammo producers. Yes. Well, no, don't, don't even get... <laughs> don't even no. blame me on this one, alright? <laughs> Die, you all! I aggro the base. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, if you if you run far enough, there are turrets to the north. They'll help. They'll help. Uh, okay, well, fine. Um, let's go with right. bullet damage. That seems logical. That sounds good. That sounds yeah, good. now we're finished, yeah. Oh, man, the research was going, you know. Can All right. you 
survive over a lamp? Yes, but lamps. the lamp doesn't survive from memory. Um, do you, Cry, do you <laughs> not remember getting stuck between two lamps? No, I got stuck between two inserters. Oh, inserters, I thought it was lamps. Because I crashed, if I crashed through an inserter, crashed into a second inserter, the second inserter stopped me. My bots that were on me replaced the inserter behind me, and I couldn't drive anymore. <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> that I remember, that, yeah, I remember that now. Go bots! <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, really, guys? <laughs> so I had to get out of the car, remove the car. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, this uh, research function needs to be up to some point. Mm, it's doing two we, packs. We needed, yeah, but we needed no, it's, it's not getting enough. It's just not getting enough raw materials into the green and into the greens and reds to actually produce to further down the chain. Um, oh, so we're telling me is we just need to upgrade the actual individual gear platform. wheels and no 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 um, Th those all that where you're staring standing are crying all those inserters need to be blue yeah that's it right now got it i noticed that they weren't being properly supplied yeah if they're all blue that should fix it i didn't even look at the inserters i upgraded the machines and just left it that ah Oops. wrong way around there there we go um and there we go. Science is now opening up much more efficiently now because of that. Mm, what was production at? Oh, we're still doing one a minute. We were. Uh, and 70, you as well. 80 Boom. a minute. And 90 you. a minute. Yeah. Might as well do all of them while I'm here. There we go. Green circuit's up as well now. Come on. You guys are you done? I've done nothing. Right. Yet. Yet. Um, steel smelter. More belt, it seems. And inserters. And furnaces. Right, so we're gonna need a we're gonna need a steel smelter array. Yeah, a, a decent on one right soon. With yeah. red Where are you doing that at the top? Yeah, up the top, because it's, it seems like the only spot for it. All the other free space is gone. Whatever he says. Saying words. What do we need to get modular ammo from running? Uh, we can get that next time. Or we all mm. to start with. No, we need to get plastics research, then advanced electronics, and then modules. So to oil. Get modular ammo. But the other thing is, modular ammo. Yeah, we will need to. Oil's already been researched, it's just the parts to research it, but we need to start producing plastics in order to make advanced circuits well. But we can get there easier than we could anything else. Well, time to go tanking some oil. Where's our nearest oil supply? To the south. Wait a minute. It's all a ruse. It has nothing to do with oil. <clears throat> He's trying to get flamers. <laughs> all a ruse. That's fine by me. <laughs> it's all a lie. <laughs> so steel, I need steel, I need underground. Uh, I know Peter too well. It's all a lie. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to get paint towers. <laughs> uh. Actually, do I have any blueprints? Instead of the cake is a lie, the plans are a lie. <laughs> the flamethrowers are a lie. <laughs> you can't see anything over here. <laughs> and this down. Episode episode three was uh. What well, we have episode three? It's our big brother. Everything goes to hell. It was Cry's fault, right? That's how we ended the series, that episode. Oh yeah, probably. That's what I'm episode Tough four there. is uh. Plans everything are burns. a lie. Plans are a lie. <laughs> because episode six, everything burns. <laughs> <laughs> Base is on fire. Okay. Peter has flamers, that's the episode. <laughs> Why is everything on fire? 
There. You know now, why it's on fire. Don't ask the questions like that. Now, <laughs> this, will, this will have a <clears throat> two lines of yellow for the science stuff now. So we're not going to like have iron issues in that section anymore. Right. I need the turrets, bullets, and grenades for my construction purposes. Sure. Mm, go for it! Uh, I'm picking up on the grounds. <laughs> long handers. Pastiques. Did anybody. Nobody's automated splitters like that. Yeah, that's splitters. Follow the line up here. Yep. Do, 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 I've do, automated do, do. splitters. Oh, and... all the way up there. Do, do, do. So nowhere yep. near the belts. Yep. <clears throat> no, unfortunately, the, the build it does need to be altered, but it was done to come by the way it is now. Okay. What's next? That one. Just remember, it can be far more convoluted than it actually currently is. I will make it more convoluted if I have to. Please don't. That was not a challenge. <laughs> that was not an issued challenge. That was just a statement. Sounds like a challenge. That's not a challenge. challenge. <laughs> Do not accept that challenge. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was not an initiation. There was no use of a glove into somebody's face. I need power Ow. poles and I need lights. Alright, so I'm assuming we're going to build to the north of the bus and we're going to extend to the south. So okay, I'm a half elf for my own grenades right now. You, what? This is why you <laughs> can't have nice things. <laughs> I took more damage from my own grenade clearing trees than I did from the bite of bases I attacked. <laughs> I. We can't go anywhere with you, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> you set things on fire, you blow things up. I didn't set things on fire, they were already on fire when I got there. <laughs> it came That's like actually that. not true, but it's not that. It came like <laughs> that. It came like that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, so I need a split oh. down there. I went all the way up there, got bullets and everything else, I just completely forgot to get uh, turrets to put bullets in. Right, where can I still iron from? Uh, uh um, the bus? You know, no, the iron, iron, iron ore. Iron ore. The other sort of iron. Oh. Yeah, a little more... Turrets, 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 turrets. Yeah, Why are you making concrete? Such lag. Yeah, making and concrete? server not responding, flashing on the screen. It's good. Good times. We, lo we haven't lost you yet. Still I'm, on I the server. Don't think it's my connection. I think... Actually, no, maybe it is. Well, I have a stable connection here. I'm not getting any lag or anything. Yeah, I got not... Well, other than the fact I just came to Delhi, that was my local internet. No idea. But I am now making some steel. So that's, you know, mission accomplished, right? Yeah. I, I can quit. Uh... Can you quit? <laughs> I did something. I did something important. And it's even blueprintable. Mostly. It's mostly blueprintable. Is that, what, yeah. that we we're getting at? <laughs> yeah, mostly blueprintable. <laughs> mostly printable. <laughs> yeah. And there we go. We should be able to research at least the armor. <clears throat> Can't make it yet, but we need to get rid of when running, but we at least get prepped for it. I mean, you could handcraft advanced circuits. Do you need plastic for that? Yeah, but you could just have a. Then we need plastic. the oil from running, won't we? Okay, so we need to do <laughs> we need to do plastics first. So there's but, a tiny bit of prep work, but you could start handcrafting. <laughs> totally could. You get all the pieces except for plastic, and then you would just. I mean, how much how much time was the armor? Armor is 15 seconds. So if you did everything except for the advanced circuits, right? Advanced circuits oh. are how long per? We're looking at six seconds each. You need. 30 of them. Eh, I got a few minutes, right? Just a few minutes of handcrafting. <laughs> you, you, you'd be the only one special enough to have modular armor. <laughs> exactly. 
I if I remember rightly, in the original Factorio, the first power ammo was handcrafted. <clears throat> For the most part, all the parts of it, all the modules. I don't have a clue. I mean, it sounds like something I would do, so... <laughs> it's totally possible that it's me. <laughs> <clears throat> we need to get a uh, military research facility for running. Wait, did... JT, what are you doing? Steel. Then, weren't you? Wait, what the hell's down here? Yeah, this is you as well. What are you doing? <laughs> There's coffee down, down here. there. <laughs> that that gave me a little bit steel to make steel furnaces. <laughs> By all means, pack it up, bring it up here, put it back down. I will. <laughs> like, if you're going to do steel, at least do it in a steel furnace. <laughs> Which means you need steel. So I made some steel. Uh, <clears throat> one of the mods I adore is the one that makes it so you can upgrade from stone furnaces to steel furnaces. So you're not with a pile of stone furnaces later down the line. <laughs> well, see, the idea is they all go into boilers, and then you can, like, make more power. Yeah, but it takes too long. Oh, that's also assuming you keep, you know... You keep them and don't throw them in a box and shoot it out of anger and frustration. <laughs> that's right. All the red inserters, are, red inserters are backward. Yay! Oh. Okay, and... Is this, is this belt worth or no? No, not even close. Um, I think That's it's 170 power. steel furnaces for a a belt. Isn't that blue belt worth? Oh, uh, maybe. I know it's a metric ship though. Well, yeah. I mean, that sounds about right for everything that's Factorious. Just everything requires a metric ship done. This is the Especially. official measurement of the game. It's, it's how many shit tons of wires. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. And when you've come from a base that does 5,000 science packs, everything becomes really easy. <laughs> You're like, oh, I only need like three of them. Like 300 of them. Or, yeah. Are they putting a base down there? <laughs> no, it's a red update. All right, so note to self. Create a mod where everything is measured in MST, which is stands for metric shit ton. <laughs> <laughs> I would play that. I would. I would definitely play that. <laughs> like, well, look, look, look. My my oil, my oil consumption, my petrol output is measured in the thousands per minute. It's like 500,000 per minute. Yeah. Metric shit ton is a pretty close analogy. Right. When you're like, yeah, yeah, I pull oh. a train into my, my oil and oh, it man. empties and the next one's right up behind oh, it, it and it empties and this continues forever. So MST will equal <laughs> 1,000 of an object per minute. That's what it's going to be. So my base would still do... <laughs> 500 oil, or 500 MST per minute. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. The, the metric shit ton considers the per minute. So it would just be 500 metric shit tons. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess tons, I guess tons would have to be a measurement of mass. I guess we would have to keep the, the minute in there. Ugh, okay. So it would be MS, MSTM, metric shit ton per minute. <laughs> That's what You get the mod going, you send me a link, I will happily do a whole review on it. Uh, you, you know, post will go up on Reddit that day, you know. New 500 MSTS MMMM base per minute. All right, translation, this base does 500 metric shit tons per minute. Thanks, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs> and we're done. Oh, uh, power poles. I realize my mistake, and I may build this better now. <laughs> Wait, did you make a mistake, fix it, and now because it's fixed, it's better than it was? <clears throat> no. 
that I realised that when I built the um, mistake one, the you admitted the... to making a mistake. I'm newish <laughs> to the game. <laughs> I'm allowed to make some mistakes. Yeah, believe it or not, Peter started playing when we started the first Crackorio series. Yeah, I, I, I was I, I was exactly it. a quarter of an, a quarter of a series through my first ever series when they invited me to join Crackorio. Yeah, I, I, I believe it. it. It came through. That's why I was asking a lot of questions about how to do stuff. And why, I, even now, because I only ever play it when I'm recording, why I still ask questions like, what's the ratio for this and what's the ratio for that? I have no idea no what the answers, ratio is. Then nobody answers me. As long as it doesn't nah, but then break nobody answers goes. me, and then just build my own ratio and never gets annoyed at me. <laughs> and it's their own fault for not answering the question. <laughs> I'm gonna make my own base with blackjack and hookers. Oh, hang on, can I come visit? <laughs> <laughs> Sure, there's an entry fee. <laughs> oh, hang on. Hang on. How many metric shit tons is that? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, miners. Where, where the hell did the miners go? Oh, they're there. 100. Yeah, I'll use all them. That sounds about right. Mm. Alright, now here's my question, JD. Go on, turrets. Turrets, 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 Do turrets. you set up your miners, like, back to back? Or do you have a space between? I. Put a space between for power purely because this is the laziest way to do it. Yeah, that's what I do. That's well, it's what I <laughs> I do now because I've done enough mining setups. So I'm like I'm sick of doing the, the underground stuff. Um, <laughs> oh, look, the underground the underground stuff's more efficient and blah 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 and better coverage. And um, even if I have bots, I'm probably not going to do it because it takes a lot of time to line up the blueprint. Um, oh, well, if I, if I have bots, I do it, but that's because the bots do it for me. <laughs> that's that's why it's done that way. But if I have bots, good chance of doing bot mining where it's just a whole bunch of miners with a whole bunch of passive providers and then requesters yeah. and a train. At which point... But, but the thing is, with how long it takes you to get from construction to those logistics, there's actually a good piece where it's perfectly reasonable to do it. It might be perfectly reasonable, but I'm not going to do it. Still not gonna do it. No. Is a uh, steel building from <laughs> anywhere, by the way? Um, it's up the top, it's, and there is some steel in it. Is there? Because this looks like stone. No, no. Keep going. Uh, above that. Next one up. It's not professional, though, is it? Oh, it's way over there. Oh, it's way over there. It's so I was looking down this end. It's all, it's all blue pins this end. That's why I was querying it. Yes. It's waiting for you to come along and finish building it. Come on, Peter. And you just steal all <laughs> of it. It's like all of it's mine now. Yeah. Isn't that the standard factory way? Like, you know. Oh, look, you have resources. Oh, now you don't. Sorry. <laughs> that's the standard multiplayer way. Yes, that's, uh, that's how it works. Yeah, it's also the standard <laughs> single player way. And the only reason it's that way is because in single player, the only person the only you have one. to blame is yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everything belongs to me. Okay, so that's all done down there. Oop, research we can do. Let's see what can we get in place. Let's get mining productivity from running a bit higher. Um, everything else be quite. Oh, second turns be good, useful potentially. We good trains yet though, have we? Basically, anything we can research, research it. Yeah, mining productivity is actually beneficial now, whereas anything else would need us to get some kind of upgrade, like trains or something first. Bosses does. I'm making a bouncer. You're just... Yeah, got it. Okay. I was very confused what you're doing, but I yeah, forgot you. Um, <laughs> I don't have bots, so I put it down manually and... You like had to... It, it's like it's like watching somebody draw. It's like you draw all the outline <laughs> stuff first, and then you had to erase the, the inner pieces. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's, it's a quick <laughs> and easy way of, you know, I build it and then I, I break it afterwards. <laughs> Okay, that works. <laughs> I was moving the power pole out of the way. I noticed what you were doing. I just don't understand why you were doing it. I just, I didn't think there was enough room. <laughs> okay. Uh, now that is perfectly right in the middle of steel output, but that's fine. I am in need of stone bricks to get an oil well, refinery from running. I figure steel, wouldn't you want steel to come down and go onto the bus? Yeah. So like everything is in the way. Just for clarification. Yeah. No, no, there's there's room. Right between where Peter just came up. Between iron and iron. 
It's not actually on the bus itself. If you look at where the bus is, there's nowhere to put a, a horizontal line. Um, whose fault's that? Let's see. That would be. That would be the person who built off of the main line. Wait. Yeah. Just, just for clarification, not JD's fault. <laughs> it, I don't know. It, it all says JD on it. JD, JD, JD. <laughs> last user, JD. Ah, it was no, only no, last no, no, user. No, no. Not no creator. No wait, creator. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. You're, you're, he, he's, he's not wrong because the belts have uh, Rock Fallon, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, on it. So I think Rock put it all together. <laughs> Are you using the uh, map? <laughs> okay. really, I mean... Yeah, I'm using map. Look so look at the, uh, the boss. Yep. Yep. But actually, it's more the fact that there's no room, but the science is too close to the copper belt, and the the actual build everything is too close to the iron belt to get a steel in either side. Yeah, so it all has to be moved. All of it. All of it's gotta go. Well, that's a oh, job yeah, for been... whoever logs in after me. <laughs> or you bring the steel in after they build everything, because steel doesn't need if any other things are there yet, so. It's gonna be me, isn't it? It's gonna be me. I'm gonna be sick of it. It's gonna be like, I can't stand it anymore, and I'm just gonna fix it, and I'm gonna yell at fixing it because someone else has another plan. <laughs> Plus, your name's on the uh, the main bus down there, so. Exactly. Well, yeah. But uh, if they yelled at me for putting the stuff on the main bus, it's like, I learned it from you! <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I, I'm, I'm still yet to upload a series with the main bus, so it's definitely not, 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 not me. Um. <laughs> Wait, how do you not... Wait, you have a series that includes massive building of craziness and you don't have a main bus. No. No. What uh, did you do? I, I built a little bit and then like I made a, I made a smelter raid that went to red and green science. And then I made a train station with another smelting array for blue science. And, and then and... you just trained everything after that? I, I, I just, I, I basically made a smelting array for what I needed for one or two sciences, and then when it was done, moved on to the next one. And rinse and repeat it. Because I've been, okay, for the longest time, I was trying to find a main bus alternative, just to change, just to be different, right? And I just couldn't find anything that was reliable. Um, go watch my Gigabase series and start at episode, like, one. I guess I have to. Deal with my <laughs> shitty audio. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, it's bad. Uh, okay. What can we build next? You want That's to learn really things? You must suffer. Uh, no, it, it's just uh, brand new to YouTube. Had nothing, no setup, and was running with a um, headset mic that was. Oh. Like Logi Logitech one, so it's good, good brand, good should be, and it just went I downhill. Mean, it's it's good for a headside mic, but it's still a <laughs> it headside is. mic. It is, I know, I know, but like, <laughs> I'm sure you guys agree. It, it, mic wise, th there's nothing between the the fifty dollar headset mic and the two hundred dollar proper desktop mic. There's nothing in the middle. Uh, snowball. Well, even like my blue bucks. snowball is the 60 gain. Well, if I'm using a snowball, bucks. it's 60 and it's so better than headset mics. Yeah, 60 pounds, right? Yeah. Dollars, I think, isn't it? For, crack? Well, my, my, for me, it's about... Yeah, for me, it's about 50 quid, something like that. Pounds. Yeah, that's like 200 Australian dollars. That's the issue. Oh, you just like you change it out. There is nothing in the middle. So then, okay. Let's let's make some refineries. Your Logitech headset that you have, mm -hmm. right? How much? What did that cost you? Ah, uh, probably sixty Australian. All right, I gotta go do some currency conversions. I have no basically, idea what that is. basically for dollars. Um, right, let's build something. <clears throat> uh... Pounds, it's basically half or double, and and dollars, it's like fifty percent extra. Does that make sense? No, not steel. really. All right, so steel as well. Have you all made steel furnaces yet? By the way, 
Yes, there's still furnaces up the, st up the top. No, they're handcrafted. Automated. No. Oh, I was just if you had. I, you, I was wondering if you put like a little build up there, just get right. some speed process. So, one oh, US okay. dollar yep. equals uh, one Australian dollar Damn. and 25 cents. Yeah, about, yeah. Or the other That's way around, it. 75. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Gotcha. Huh. So yeah. then, a $60 mic costs you about like 100 bucks. Um, a sixty dollar desktop mic. Don't have them. The snowball starts at one fifty. Really? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Don't know taxes, imports. Who knows? Um, but snowball wasn't often. I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust taxes myself. I go with buses. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> um, I can't help it. It's a, it's a ring. But yeah, no, I, I went with a blue Yeti mic, right? Which was yeah, two hundred bucks. Mm. Hmm. Which I believe is oh. just slightly more expensive than the Snowball. I don't know, I can't remember. Yeah, right now, uh, Snowball is actually down the fifty bucks now instead of sixty. I got it. I'm just like googling in between my builds while I'm waiting for the handcrafting to get done. Go handcrafting. <laughs> <laughs> You just stand in the corner, handcra handcrafter. He says, <laughs> he crafts, ca crafts more, more burner miner drills. I I'm making burner miner drills, so, you know. Oh. Yeah, you know what? You, you can say nothing now. <laughs> <laughs> You're crafting burner miners. No. You can say nothing Everything now. Everything you say now is invalid. <laughs> all, the, all they're doing is picking up coal and, mo and moving it. I, I can use a burner miner drill for that. Uh it's alright, I'm, I'm the individual who's like, yeah, I will totally use burner miners to power my entire base. <laughs> I may do that one day. Really? I may. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. Thought, I thought it was something that only I, I thought ever, kind of thought, breaks down for while, ever thought of doing, because nobody else seems to ever do it. Um, no, I, I like I like a different challenge. You know, right at the moment, I'm trying to put down blue inserters with a blue powered background covered in smoke, you know, that's a challenge, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, definitely a challenge. Okay, we have steel. Oh, dear God. The concentrated pollution on our base is ridiculous. <laughs> that's right. Uh... Somebody else is going to come defend it, right? And... <laughs> 37 minutes. I should stop recording. We're going to need um, defense on the... Uh... Well, yes, yes. It, it's been a while, but we have steel running. We have steel running, and we have, and we have, we have defenses running, and we're getting there. We're getting there. I have no idea what we're going to do next, but I imagine I'm probably going to, I don't know, maybe go kill some bodies. All right. Uh, thank you guys for watching. As always, hope you're enjoying the series, and come back. I don't know, sometime soon for some more Cracktoria. All right, that's it. Bye.